All right, so Baron basically became a badass. Uh, alliteration aside there, it, it's true. Uh, so he came back and found his father and all of his companions were slain by, you know, um, Sauron's forces. And he had made a grave for his father, and then he hunted down the band of orcs that slew them all. Uh, and he, because of his woodcraft, he was so sneaky and cunning, he, he snuck right up to their campfire. Um, and the captain was waving around the hand of his father with the ring on it to prove, you know, as a token to um, Sauron and to Morgoth of what they did. And Baron leapt out and took out the captain uh, and grabbed the hand and the ring and dipped out of there. And uh, because fate, you know, was lending uh, aid and because the orcs were so, you know, dismayed, um, no arrows uh, got him, nobody was able to stop him, no orcs were able to stop him. Uh, and for four years, he wandered around. He refused to leave Dorthonian, and uh, the animals and the birds all became his friends, and he uh, says they wouldn't betray him, and he would not eat any um, meat or anything uh, that had, you know, any animals or anything that had lived. Um, and it doesn't give anything to any details, but it says he did not fear death, but only captivity, and being bold and desperate, he escaped both death and bonds. Um, and the deeds of the lonely daring that he achieved were noised abroad throughout Beleriand, and the tale of them came even into Doriath. Uh, so it says there that he escaped death and bonds. It makes me sound like he was captured a few times, but he kept getting away. Um, so that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and the other cool thing is that Morgoth set a price upon his head that was uh, equal to uh, the price of uh, Fingon, High King of the Noldor. Uh, but the orcs fled uh, rather than um, come after him at the rumor of his approach. Uh, so he became, yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, and even, yeah, eventually then Sauron was sent with an army, uh, even with werewolves, fell beasts inhabited by dreadful spirits that, spirits that he had imprisoned in their bodies. Uh, that sounds pretty awful. But So yeah, Baron was a total badass. Uh, that's pretty cool. Stephen Colbert, I want to talk about Silmarillion Token of Middle-earth and all that stuff. So hit me up, please. Thank you.